What's up guys, how's it going? Shahara here. It's been a while since the last time I made a video, and if you guys have been keeping up with me on social media, such as my Instagram and my Twitter, um, you guys know I've been working on some big stuff, finishing up school and stuff like that, while I'm still in school. But the last time I made a video was... A long time ago, we'll just keep it there. So, as you guys know, I've been working on some small projects, not film projects or anything like that, or the gaming channel for a couple weeks now. And it's due to the fact that I bought a 3D printer. Well, I built a 3D printer. So let's talk about that. So, this is the Anet A8 printer. It's FDM printer, it has a base. It's not big, but the only reason why I bought and wanted to try 3D printing is that I wanted to invest in something new and something that I've been really interested in for a long time. And I've been into building my own things and tinkering around with stuff for actually as long as I can remember, as a, since I was a kid. And so when I saw th this affordable printer, I had to jump at the chance. And not only did I take the jump, I had to give a shout out to Bill Duran from The Prop Shop. Uh, his channel has actually been the most, the biggest driving force between this decision to buy this 3D printer. And building it was actually kind of hard since the, man the manufacturer is uh, from China and it's kind of hard in the sense that there's walkthrough videos but it's not clear. So it was quite a challenge on my behalf. Enough of me talking, let's get to the part where actually I started building this thing. So I've already opened the box already and there's three layers of awesomeness. I mistakenly already took out the PLA plastic. This is all that comes with a 3D printer. That's no matter. Put that to the side right here. Hello Mythbusters. So how are we going to build this thing? So let's take a look at what we got. First layer of foam. We got the bed bracket, a couple wires, some nuts and bolts. You see the bearings. There's the power cord. That's the first layer. So there's three layers of foam on them. And for shipping, for our shipping sake obviously. First one, I already showed you that. Here's the second one. So we see the beginning of the frame. Got the ANA display, the microcontrollers, fans, and the belt right here. And this should be the last layer right here. Probably the most heaviest because it has all of the parts in it. There you go. That's the three of uh, the foam bases, the foam cases. So this is the, the main frame. It's made of acrylic. It's covered in some sort of paper, so I'm going to take that off. It doesn't look sleek at all. Uh, there's the microcontrollers. Then we have our motors, our stepper motors. What's in this box? It's mostly something else. Let's get started, all right? It's really nice, it's really smooth. You can see the dust from the, the paper layer. Now I just need to do the rest. Interesting, but these are gonna be the forward facing frames. It's gonna be that high. I forgot the dimensions, but I'll post it on the screen right, right there. But so far we have to get the frame done by today. And so let's unwrap the rest. After about half an hour, I got these all taken off the stickers and then I noticed that there's more, there's more. I think I'm finally done with uh, peeling all the stickers off the acrylic. Now it's time to start putting together the frame. So it's, the cool thing is that it uses the screw mechanism with this nut bolt, and it goes into these notches first, which is really cool. So like I mentioned, the frame is made of acrylic, and putting these screws in where it's really, like it's, you can see the plan, planning that came went into making this printer, and it's really smooth how things just fit together like a puzzle piece. Of course the skill level, I mean if you can you do Legos you can do this, but also Legos are easier than this. There's a little shot of the z-axis and then more of the brackets coming in slowly. This is the day after and I had to take a little break putting together all the motors, but you can see I've added in the, the bed, starting to put in the final screws and uh, putting in everything else. And there's another motor right there, the left and one. I believe those are the Z-axis motors, I'm not sure. So that pretty much wraps up the build process of this uh, 3D printer. Now, the whole reason why I really wanted to buy this 3D printer was not because I thought it was cool, that 3D printing is cool, and it's not an easy thing, like sort of like how you 
click print on a, for a piece of paper or a document to print out. It does take some time to set up and it does take some time to model some of the things. One of the first things I actually modeled was this cool little Rebel Alliance insignia if you can see. Uh, I 3D printed this and it was my first time using Fusion 360. Honestly, I'm in love with this. I used the, the filament that came with the printer. This is a ton of fun. Getting back to what I was talking about, sorry. Is that the whole reason that I wanted to buy is that I wanted to feel something that I can design in 3D and then have it tangible in my hand. And that feeling is so amazing, honestly. Oh yeah, by the way, I put a piece of uh, a magnet in here, so now it serves as a magnet on my whiteboard behind me. And that's so cool. And I, as you guys know, I love building things and everything like that. But I do have some main concerns about this printer. Um, it does not have an on and off button. It has a lot of wiring issues and everything like that. And honestly, Bill Duran does list a lot of things and upgrades that he's done to his Anet A8, and I'm probably going to follow that in general. But with the time crunch that I have right now, I'm working on a small little project that's based off of one of my favorite franchises of all time. And if you, if you guys know me at all, you know that I love Star Wars and what comes out the new Solo movie. And you can only guess that I'm only building something from that movie. I'll leave it there, but if you guys want to know, the video for that is coming out tomorrow. Alright, so I ran into a little problem in the, in the middle of my uh, video, but the video won't be coming out tomorrow. Just consider following the instructions that I'm about to give you next. That's about it. Sorry. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.